Welcome to a presentation on Winget's IoT Sense Sandbox. When we've spoken to you before about IoT and AI, we've shared with you that we have a series of platforms that allow you to pull data from the various systems, products, and tools that you have across your business and be able to centrally view all that data and more importantly, apply artificial intelligence and machine learning to that data to make real-time business decisions in ways you've never been able to do before. To help you see this in action, we created this sandbox so that you can have an insight into some of the different solutions that we've created for a variety of different customers all in one location. Now on this landing page, you're seeing some of the solutions related to OEE and revenue analysis. Some of the highlights of this page are the following. First, we want you to see that with this solution, you can actually be able to manage multiple locations that you may have. It could be two, three, four, any, lim any unlimited amount of locations. And with that, you can start to get a comparative view of your overall business. You can, of course, do this for just one location if you have that. And based on each of these locations, you will have a number of different KPIs that are associated with those. In this case, we're looking at two different plants. And so we're, we're seeing the KPIs and the results of those KPIs across those plants. But if you were to, of course, drill down into one of those, right, you could actually go down to the plant line level. You could actually go down as well into the machine level right within one of those plants as well. And that would change all the different parameters associated with that as well. And uh, we, we see this here from a shift level. So you can do that uh, as well. So it's, it's quite detailed in terms of how far we can drill down for each location, all the way down to the line and the shift level. Equally so here, we talk about revenue leakage. You can actually start to look at the areas of your business where you have the most inefficiency or the most cost impact, if you will, based on whatever parameters you're, you're measuring. But you can do that again here at a machine level. You can do that at a shift level, at a line level, or of course, at a plant level or location level as well. And then you've got all the different KPIs. Every customer will have their own. And you'll be able to set what are the different parameters or right numbers that, that you feel are the goals that you want to achieve, along with some of the key data points, including rejections, finished goods, energy consumption, et cetera, related to that overall big picture of OEE and revenue analysis. Now, this is a different version or a different view into the same information, but for a different purpose. Here, we're looking at production efficiency. Again, you can do this at a plant level if you'd like, or you can start to drill down and start looking at this a little bit more specifically at the line level and even shift level here, okay, and even the machine level. And that will start to change the information related to the other graphs, okay? Now, along with that here, for example, downtime is a very, very big area of focus for a lot of, of companies, especially in the manufacturing world. And you are not only able to see the analysis, but actually the uh, reason for that analysis, as well as the rejection root cause analysis, if you will, um, re related to that. So this is, this is a really, I, get, I think, thorough way of, of diving deep into not just what happened, where it happened, but why that happened as well. We have an energy efficiency component of this. This is for certain types of, of companies, for example, that have very high energy use like smelters or folks that once they go down and come back up, that, that could actually create a, you know, a, a huge energy impact to them. But we also want folks to see where their energy consumption is related to certain operations. And again, that can be done at a plant and or line and or shift level as before. And you're always able to see actual versus planned numbers, which is a really, really big deal for a lot of our customers. Quality, of course, is a, a huge area of focus for many, many companies, including manufacturers. And so you're able to see rejection, 
you know, here in, in terms of the, uh, the quantity. Here, you're also able to see this from a different perspective in a pie graph here. You've got revenue leakage as well based on certain operations. This is critical, again, because you don't want to just know how much money you're losing, but in which operation. And then here you've got a variety of different KPIs reflected in, in, in terms of the goals that you're trying to achieve and whether you're, whether you're able to do that or not. We even go down to the operator level. Here, you're able to see things like rejections. We did this for one customer related to an operator. And this is really, really critical because you're starting to target not just, again, the line or the ship, but who is, you know, which operator is actually causing you the most amount of costs, in this case, around rejections. And then we can even go one step deeper. And we had a customer ask us to do this type of graph where we could show the output quantity by operator and even do a skill level analysis to where we could start to match operators to certain machines and certain operations and certain shifts based on their skill level experience and rejection numbers. So you could best use each of those different individuals within your organization. This is just a high level overview. It shows you hopefully kind of the variety of, of applications with the data that we're able to pull, some of the flexibility. And of course, we can generate any number of different graphs and, and uh, visual tools to help you and put those either at a desktop level, you know, in the cloud for other folks to pull from and or, of course, in a mobile environment to be used on the floor or anywhere else in your business. We hope to continue our conversations and explore different options that you could uh, leverage this technology to do. Thanks so much.